Being a character actor is a pretty sweet deal. While they may not earn the fame, fortune, or accolades afforded A-list movie stars, some do get to live their dream and become very well regarded for their work. And there are other perks to the gig, like landing in a delightful, crowd-pleasing gag reel. Here are some performers who, at the end of the day, are probably best loved for their bloopers. Christopher Darga in Bruce Almighty Jim Carrey improvises so much on set that directors are left with a wealth of extra, hilarious, and often unusable footage. This means that any day player who had a scene with Carrey could also wind up in the gag reel. That's what happened to Christopher Darga, who played a baker in Bruce Almighty. It must be wonderful seeing the smiles on their little faces. I work in back, I see no smiles. Dargo was forever immortalized in film history as a guy who can't keep a straight face forever. Doompa. 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 Oh, <laughs> Ken Foray and Halloween. Horror movies can provide a cathartic, psychological release. But you have to laugh a little at this tragic fate. And when actor Ken Foray did just that, he provided perhaps his most famous screen work. Hey buddy, just give you a heads up. I got a Taco Deluxe Supreme talking back at me, so I'ma be a while. While filming his character's violent end for 2007's remake of Halloween, Foray can't help but find his stabbing rather humorous. <laughs> Some Kid in North by Northwest One of the most memorable outtakes from classic cinema comes from Alfred Hitchcock's 1959 classic North by Northwest. It includes one of Cary Grant's best performances. Funny how I have that effect on people. It's something about my face. It's a nice face. But the actor who really made history is an anonymous child extra. Grant's co-star Eva Marie Saint is about to fire a gun in a crowded cafeteria, which we know from the kid in the background who plugs his ears in anticipation. You just stay away from me. <laughs> Paul Freeman in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Character actor Paul Freeman appeared in one of the most acclaimed and highest grossing blockbusters of all time. I see your taste in friends remains consistent. But Freeman would become most famous for his role as Belloc in 1981's Raiders of the Lost Ark because of a fly that crawled into his mouth. Your persistence surprises even me. You're gonna give mercenaries a bad name. Soupy Sales in The Soupy Sales Show. Unlike other iconic kiddie TV show hosts like Captain Kangaroo or Mr. Rogers, Soupy Sales didn't run a cuddly educational show. Lunch with Soupy Sales, aka The Soupy Sales Show, was pure comedy. For example, he took a pie to the face most every day, and he used a stage door from where all manner of crazy guests would emerge. Perhaps because the show was light and ephemeral, or perhaps because it wasn't rerun for decades, Sales is probably best remembered for a stage door prank where a topless dancer greets him by surprise, a gag which obviously never hit the air. Thank you for being with us. Have a nice evening. Great day tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody. Stanley Anderson in Spider-Man. Probably thanks to an extensive theatrical background, Stanley Anderson projects a lot of gravitas and hubris, which certainly helped him win the role of General Slocum, an intimidating military official who could handle bossing around Willem Dafoe in 2002's Spider-Man. But Anderson just couldn't get through the word predecessor, which means he'll live on forever in the gag reel. I never supported your program. We have my predecessor, so uh, you must what I give all right, eh? Brian Steele in Blade Trinity. Even the biggest fan of Wesley Snipes' vampire hunting trilogy probably wouldn't recognize Brian Steele. In Blade Trinity, he played the mighty Dracula, which required layers of prosthetics and makeup. Steele was supposed to play his character's death as an extremely violent one, but ended up laughing his way through the outtakes. <laughs> Rachel Dratch as Debbie Downer. A remarkably talented comedian and actress, Rachel Dratch is best known for her seven-year stint on Saturday Night Live. She performed several recurring characters, but the piece for which Dratch will forever be remembered is a Debbie Downer sketch that went completely off the rails. While portraying a family eating breakfast at Disney World, almost the entire cast cracked up. By the way, it's official. <laughs> Children. 
Till Schweiger in Inglorious Bastards. While German writer, director, and actor Till Schweiger is quite well known in Europe, his most memorable American screen appearance was as Sergeant Stieglitz in 2009's Inglorious Bastards. Arguably, Schweiger's best moment is when he rises from the dead to say hello to Sally Minke, the film's editor and only person who would see him come back to life. Sally, I am not dead. I just pretended. Now I'm gonna go after him and I'm gonna kick his Nazi balls, okay? Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.